Hi folks, Scott Sager with you here, RTC TV4. On either side of me, I have the Rochester swimming coaches. We have Coach Stephanie Brown and Coach Kevin Reaney. These guys have been around for a while and they built one heck of a program. Of course, we have sectionals coming up for the girls swim and dive this week. Uh, Thursday, you'll see that live here on RTC with the preliminaries and then you'll see it again live Saturday uh, as we go back over for the finals, hoping to have some swimmers there. So uh, we saw, had TRC a few weeks back. We've seen some great success out of this crew, out of this team. Let's uh, turn it over to Coach Brown for a second. Let's talk a little bit about TRC. What do you do going into a meet like that to get your team so revved up? Because we came out with some, quite frankly, spectacular results. Um, the kids swam, in, swam incredibly that day. Um, we got them so excited at the possibility of you know trying trying to win the meet or trying to uh, swim as fast as you possibly can and you know we just said everybody needs to go out there and do their very best that they can today and if we win the meet great if we don't then then we don't right. and uh the girls medley relay you know came came right out and everybody had phenomenal splits and that really just set the tone for the rest of the day um we somebody we didn't even really keep track throughout the day. We were just so excited about how fast they were swimming. But somebody said we broke 10 conference records and um, we won 15 of the 22 swims that day. So, so that's was, 10 conference records uh -huh, yep. broken that that day, that Saturday in the Conequa Pool by mm -hmm. Rochester swimmers. Yep. And these are all time records. This yes. isn't just like from last week. This is right since well, they've had their programs, right? Since, yeah, we've had the TRC swimming for three years. So. Okay, three meet three years <laughs> three on the years, TRC. Yeah. So. <laughs> Well, that's fantastic, and we won 15 of the 22 events that day. Yes, yes. Okay. And still came out second place. Second place. Okay, well, yeah. sometimes that's the way it works. Now, um, we've got a, when you're doing team events, when you're doing conference events, you've got swimming and diving both scored into that, correct? Yes, yeah. Diving is considered one of the individual events, scored the same as all the swimming events are. Okay, as we go into sectionals, swimming and diving is separated out. Divers swim separately from... The day on uh, on a different day, I want to say. Um, no, diving is uh, Saturday morning. Saturday morning only. Yes. Okay. So we have swim prelims on Thursday night, okay. and then Saturday morning is diving preliminaries, and then finals is Saturday at 1 p.m. Finals for everybody. So we do finals for swimming, and then the divers do their final three dives, which is considered finals for diving. Excellent, excellent. So you'll tune in to see some of that on Saturday. I don't know if we'll be able to get the Saturday morning, but definitely the uh, Saturday afternoon dives there as well. Now, let's talk about progression before we talk about individual seniors or some of the stars of our team this year. But how does it work for an individual swimmer to go in representing Rochester at a swim meet, what do they have to do to make it to the next and make it to the next? Now, I will tell our viewers, unlike basketball or maybe volleyball, even football, you go from sectionals to state. Is that correct? Yeah, in swimming we have sectionals and we have state. Um, at both sectionals and state we have prelims and finals. Okay. So, um, you know, it just depends on how you want to look at it. Um, there are four things that right. because of the breakdown they might not call them regionals etc right. but yes. they're still very good and it's just two weeks apart or one week apart sorry and then we have the boys coming up here in a few weeks later in february as well correct mm -hmm. the boys season is staggered two weeks from the girls season so february is girls sectionals girls state boys sectionals boys state for four weekends in a row yeah. busy weekends right yes we well, like to be busy every weekend in February. I bet we do. I bet we do. Well, RTC will be there. You know that. We've had some fun, uh, some great viewership over the past few years for sure. Um, let's talk to Kevin Reaney here for a moment. Kevin, you got some guys coming into this uh, sectional. Anyone, uh, I don't know, maybe your son uh, excited about this sectional season? Oh, the, the kids are always excited about championship time. I mean, they put in the work and the effort, and um, that's when it's fun time. It's uh, a little bit like the TRC, even though we went in with a business-like attitude. Um, it was, you know, we're, we're there to um, to show how much work we put in and, and really to have some fun and to swim well. And it was a 100% total team effort. Um, like Stephanie had said before, once the first relay went and the, the times were good, it was a giant snowball effect and, and uh, that ball rolled downhill all day. So it was a lot of fun. Yeah, excellent. And, you know, we just kept talking about Rochester winning, Rochester setting a new record the entire day sectional time we've got some young swimmers you've got some seniors anyone in particular on uh, 
did, oh, of course I want to say, I don't want to tell our people, oh, watch this one student, but any one area that we're looking very strong, one of the relays, one of the individual events? Well, this, this girl sectional is going to be a little bit uh, different um, than in the past. We've got some younger swimmers throughout the sectional that are coming in that are um, very, very, very fast. They're, uh, they're very high class swimmers um, from Culver and from Manchester and that changes the complexity of, of, the, of the whole meet. We still have our contingent of girls that we're going to go in there with, um, with our guns loaded and uh, we're going to see how many, if any, relays we can win. And then, um, you know, we've got our seniors um, that'll help lead us through there with uh, Maddie Sailors and um, Abby McCarter and Maria Hunting and Sarah Schaller. They've been through it. And um, the girls have had a lot of success at the sectional, so we're going to keep that going too. Excellent, excellent. Now, who did we take to state last year? We did have some competitors from Rochester at the, at the state meet. Who did we take? Um, last year... Testing um, your memory here a little bit. Yes. Last year we swam the 200 and 400 freestyle relays. Okay. Um, Emma Feldman, Abby McCarter, Maddie Sailors, and uh, Maria Hunting swam on both relays. Okay. Um, Abby swam the breaststroke at state. And was that it, Coach Rainey? Yes, that was it. <laughs> so we've got some excellent swimmers here. We saw earlier this year uh, a signing day, if you will, for Maddie Sailors. She's going to San Jose State. That's a D1 school, is it not? Yes. And what's she going there to swim? I've, I haven't met her and talked to her about it. Do you know any particular event? Um, I, I, I mean, I know she's going there to swim. I think, um, I think she'll probably be a sprinter for them. I would, I would guess. One of the best sprinters we've had here at Rochester. I see her name up on the board behind us here, yeah. the records board. Um, we've had some serious success in the past few years putting some names up on that board. What do you think you're bringing to the table that's really got these girls revved up, or is it something aside from what you guys as coaches control? Um, <laughs> <laughs> it's all in the coaches. They handle it all. The motivation coming out of these two. Very little. Very little. Yeah, it's the kids, um, right? I mean, they're putting in the time. It's the kids. We have a good club program here that um, you know gets kids trained and, and ready to be on the high school team. and. Um, you know, we, a couple times this season, we've talked about, you know, what the team was like, um, you know, when I started coaching in 2009 and it's just, um, we've slowly just kind of changed the way that things are done. And, um, you know, at this point we've been doing things this way for so long that kids come into the program knowing what to expect. And, right. and the tone has been set for so many years that, you know, you, you walk onto the Rochester high school swim team and you know what the practices are going to be like because you've heard about it and um, and you know we've got we've had a great group of older kids for the last couple of years that just know what the expectation is and they set the tone and the younger kids follow and um, and the kids love it and um, it is hard work and sometimes you know they don't want to come to practice but it's it's this time of year that's fun it's the conference and the sectionals and all that hard work that you put in you know um, it, it pays off when you swim really fast at sectionals. Absolutely. Now, for those of you that don't know, the swimmers are in at least three days a week in the mornings, either swimming or doing a dry land practice where they, they work on their core. And in addition to that, they have their evening practices and then meets. I will tell you that having gone through this for a few years now, winter break is anything but a break for these swimmers. That is where they're putting in some of the most time, some of the most effort to begin what they call the taper. I'm gonna kind of turn over to you for a second. Coach Rini, talk to us about the taper. I've heard it the past three years. It was a new term to me. What are we talking about with taper? Well, taper is uh, basically, it's a mindset where it's physiological too. I mean, there's, you know, all the hard work and the, the yardage and all of that lessens a little bit. But I guess the basic idea and the way we've been able to explain it the best is all season we, we've been pushing a spring down. And the further we push it down, you know, the higher it goes when you release the tension. And so what we, what we try to get the kids to do as we get into taper, they have more rest in between their intervals. Um, in, in practice, we do a little less heavy um, lifting in the weight room um, with Dr. Feldman. And then uh, we also try to really focus on little things, the fundamentals, um, a little quicker turns, a little tighter streamlines, a little better starts. 
uh, things like that where you're just kind of fine tuning and then you're switching your brain from the grind into thinking of, you know, going fast. Um, it's, it's hard to, to think about going fast when you're, when you're dog tired during the season. And so we're shifting that a little bit. And it's also a mindset for the kids. They see, you know, is it the taper? Is it going to work? And, you know, there's, um, if you do the things that you were supposed to do in November, December, and January, February, like coach Brown says, a lot of fun. And um, we're, we're looking forward to that. And um, the kids have to, they have to keep sleeping. You know, they're going to have a lot more energy than normal. So they have to sleep regular hours. They have to eat very well. Um, not, not a lot. I didn't mean but that. But they have to eat the right kind of, they got to put the right kind of fuel in their body. Get to, their proteins, get their know, fruits, get their vegetables. Yeah, we, we want to, you almost um, look at it like they're going to be a performance car. And you don't put you know, bad gas in a, in a high performance vehicle. So we try to, uh, impress upon those kinds of things. Now those things are out of our control, but we can continually, um, talk to them about it and tell them, and these are the things that are happening. And what we have now is history. Yeah. Um, and, and it's, you know, like the, you have to trust the program and you have to trust what we do. Um, we've had, like Stephanie said, we've had some success and we've, we've changed the record board uh, on both sides um, significantly and that those are up there to be broken mm -hmm. and that's what we tell the kids there's no end all on those so the taper is, is like I said it's physiological but it's also very mental yeah. it's um, it is a uh, it is a fun process the coaches are always a little bit like boy I hope this works <laughs> But we've been we've been that way for a long time, yeah. and it, it seems like when we leave Warsaw High School on that Saturday afternoon, you're like, yeah, that that worked okay. Yeah. So. Well, we've seen I mean we've seen seconds drop, ten seconds sometimes off of some of these races. Um, even on some of your younger swimmers who didn't make it to Saturday, that taper you see a pop there at the end of the season. So we'll keep that up, of course. Let's talk about the sectional itself. Um, it's at the Warsaw sectional. It is a fairly tough sectional to get out of. Who are some of the big names in this sectional besides Rochester, of course? Coach Rainey. Coach Rainey. <laughs> well, you, you've, you've always got the, the uh, Warsaw girls. Um, they do a really good job over there with the boys and the girls teams. And basically, to get out of the sectional and get to the state meet, you have to do one of two things. You have to win your event. Those are automatic qualifiers, and there are 20 sectionals in the state, so there's going to be 20 automatic qualifiers. And, and then... If, you, if you're not able to win your, your race, then you have, to, uh, you have to make a state cut. Yeah, you have and to beat the state clock, the right? State, yeah, and the state standard essentially is what would score 16th place down at the state meet. And 16th place in the boys' and the girls' high school swimming state meet is really fast. Um, if you're a high school swimmer and you're able to qualify from Friday to Saturday night, you're a Division One swimmer. Really? And so that state cut, that state standard, is is really fast, yeah. and that's a that's a big ask. Um, so, and for the relays, you know, you, you we try to we try to get in there and um, get get a win. Um, for some of the kids, we talk about the state cut, and you know, for other kids, it's just not realistic right, right. now. And so we don't focus on that. Mm -hmm. The you know, we have some that you can't focus on making it to state because right. it's not it's not there. So we we keep it real and. Um, we, we talk about goal times and different things like that because the clock is always moving right. and um, that's and that's who you're racing you can't you can't really do anything about you know you can't play a certain defense right. or set a game plan uh, relays we can kind of sometimes look at those and set those up to offset some of the other um, skill in the sectional but for the most part it's just you and the water and the clock yeah. and that's that's the deal and uh that's where we try and focus it reminds me of me on the golf course i can go out there thinking that hey i need a 30 today yeah it's probably going to be closer to the 40 you know what i mean yeah. and it's just what's realistic for scott and i think you guys do a good job of keeping that in perspective now let's kind of take it to the other end we've got some very skilled swimmers you know we're talking about the girls and i i know i talked about your son reese a moment ago but we'll keep it to the girls today when you're at that high level is there ever is there ever enough is there ever a speed that's fast enough for them is a second place by a tenth of a second demolishing when you get at that level of competition <laughs> thoughts can be can. i you know they've got their 
you've got your sights set on a certain thing, and uh, sometimes you have to adjust your sights a little bit. Um, Warsaw has had a, um, a little girl that she's swimming at Purdue right now, and uh, she was in our sectional. And, and if you were one that happened to be in a race where she's in and you want to make it to the state meet, you're going to have to really set the, you know, break the state state cut to get there because, um, you know, she's a Division One Big Ten swimmer. And, and, um, and for Maddie Sailors, that's what it's been. And so that's what she's been battling and fighting. And um, it's, that, that has not changed. It's yeah. still, that's still the goal is to make state cut and uh, get that automatic, automatic qualifier. Excellent. Excellent. Well, again, we've got Warsaw in this sectional, CMAs in this sectional, correct? Mm -hmm. We've got um, Whitco. No, not Whitco. They don't have a swim team. Columbia City. Columbia City. Thank you. I knew that we're over that direction. And, and most of the conference schools. And Tippecanoe New Valley will be there, of course. Um, any particular swimmer that is already signed D1, not in Rochester, that we're looking for that race to be a major competition for Rochester? Uh, I don't think. I don't know if you're forecasting and looking, but um, I don't know of any of them that have signed. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Yeah. Okay. I don't know of any. So are we coming in kind of a, a favorite in this sectional to a certain degree? We don't want to say that. I'm not jinxing anything. I'm just <laughs> kind of getting the flavor for what's going to happen at this sectional. I expect Rochester to do very well. I expect Rochester to be disappointed if they don't do well. But I also know that some of these kids are gunning for us because they either swam against us earlier in the year or they knew that they could be better when they, you know, were looking at the times. Anyone in particular? We go into sectional, um, you know, similar and similarly to how we went into conference. We want to swim fast. We want to do our best, and wherever, whatever place we get overall as a team is is just what we get. We we are more concerned about how fast we go, and we tell the kids all the time we have no control over what any other school has or how fast anybody else can go or anything else that's going on. We can control how fast we go on that day, and that's that's what we're concerned about going down to the state. Um, you know, we've had seasons where we've come out second. We've had seasons where we've come out where we've come out third, and it, we still it. You still gave your best. Swimming is not a class sport. We're down there swimming against some bigger schools, and and we just uh, you know we go out and we do the very best that we can, and whatever place we end up with, we're we're proud at the end of the day if if we did our very best that day. Absolutely, it's and honestly, that's a good mantra to take forward in life. The only thing you can control is yourself. Mm -hmm. Um, the environment around you, the things coming at you, the only thing that you've got control of is you. So I think that that's a good lesson for the kids to learn as they're in the pool facing some of these uh, challenges. So, well, I want to thank you both. Uh, you've been great uh, inspirations for a lot of the kids here, uh, my son included. Um, and I will tell you that uh, he's learned a lot. He's loving the sport. He is dog tired when he comes home from some of those Saturdays, but he's really <laughs> loving the sport. and. You know, for each parent individually to have your child find a niche that they really like, that they will work through thick and thin to do, um, that's a good feeling. And so I want to thank you guys for that. But I want to wish you the best of luck. Again, this is Thursday night here at Rochester. Or excuse me, it's at Warsaw High School. We'll be set up bringing that to you live. I hear your husband may be doing some commentary for me. <laughs> <laughs> that's the rumor. I'm, <laughs> I'm not sure what's coming my way commentary-wise. Yeah, I, I don't know. I guess so. Maybe he is. <laughs> You'll have to tune in to find out. We'll have some fun with it either way. But best of luck to you guys, and we'll see you here on Thursday night with the Swimming Girls sectional from Warsaw High School. Thanks, guys. Thank you. Leadership. Dedication. Decisive. Trust. Passion. Confidence. Positive. Relentless. Courage. Respect. Accountability. Determination. Heart. Integrity. Focus. Inspiration. Persistence. Vision. Teamwork. Support. We are Rochester. Go! Zebras.